What have we got here? Dead Harley Davidson. Don't work. So, <coughs> I'll check the compressions, they're alright. Check the valve clearances, they're alright. So now we'll see where it's timed up at. And then, take the distributor out, check that out. Take the carb off, check that out. And then see what happens, basically. What are you looking for? Just lining up that timing mark there. You should have loose valves there. Which you got. And we have no timing mark. See that shiny, that's the crank web. There should be a line through there. And that's your timing mark. So as in I suspected, I think the timing is out. But it is easy when you're doing them to get confused, if you know what I mean. Because mm. it all gets on top of you, so. Let's get the back wheel off the floor and put it in gear and we can bump the engine round and see where the timing mark is. Be in there somewhere. There it is. Right, that's about middle of the hole. Right, so we want to come around another complete revolution. All the distributors in completely wrong. Where are you looking on here to see that? Well, that fires your front cylinder. When that line there? Yeah. That's your front cylinder lobe. Yeah. Okay. And that has to come around and line up with that fibre pad opens the points when the timings marks are lined up on the flywheel okay. but that saying that that should be now those valves are loose which they are and that exhaust is open so so you've got to go another complete revolution yeah and i don't know if these are time two to one or not i should imagine they are if not then the distributor is completely wrong now we'll go around another revolution it's oh, about middle. So why do you have to go around another revolution then? Both spark plugs fire at the same time. So one's called a lost spark. Okay. It's because your piston will be down there and doesn't matter because there's no gases in there. So it won't fire. So we knew last time it was lined up over there. Now we're lined up over there and that time is bloody miles out. So. That would explain a lot. Yeah. We have that set there. See, that your point should just be opening on that mark. You're not even on the cam lobe there. As far as I can make out, so we'll check it. So you can't pull your Rizzler out, eh? Okay, so we know that our hand position's in the right place, we know that the cams are set up right, the, the crank's set up right rather. We've got loose valves firing on the front cylinder, which is what it should be. Tight, tight. <coughs> get a little screwdriver. distributor cam lobe rotates that way okay so you want to bring your dizzy around that way that's locked so you know that that can't move yeah too tight let's loosen it off a bit more Points are just opening there. 
So any roundabout there is right. And that was a long way up for one of these. Yeah. Yeah. So the guy was worried about the wiring in the bottom of the dizzy, so we might as well pull the distributor and have a look and make sure that's okay, yeah? Yeah. And it'll only take 20 minutes to pull the carb off and have a look at that as well. Okay. And then we'll take it from there, yeah? We can set the points off the bike then. Or when it's back on, sorry. Plenty of length on that. That's your usual bodge up, look. No, I haven't had it apart. Well, that's nice and tight, so... Ideally, it needs a new one of these. So you have a tape wrap around it and the nut, that shouldn't be on there. Right, in theory, that's working. Because that's connected to that, yeah? Mm -hmm. When your points are shut, so your power is into there. Right. I think that'll all be okay. But ideally, you want a new wire on it and a new distributor base, because this isn't right. But it's not loose and it's not losing contact contact through there so so the customer was saying that he was he was starting okay but would stall after a very short period of time he would have timing that far out it'd just cook up yeah just get hot yeah all right now you've got to wiggle this in which is a pain i can see why people don't like doing them they are a pain in the arse or the clamp yeah because if you look at this ring look see that dent in there oh yeah that's spring loaded so you've got to put that in there Get that lined up, hook one side in and get the other side lined up and hook that in. Let's do the back one first, I think. Is there a neck to it then? Not really. You know if you've got this dent lined up, the other dent should be lined up. Hmm. It's just easier to get to this side once you've got the back one in. Which one am I lined up on? The front side. Because there's two holes as well. in that one's in so you can't move it then you see but it'll twist side to side yeah yeah see there's an original timing mark there in the theory if it's all set up right and that's in the right place that line should hit the center of that circle that's factory setting so now we'll reset the points make sure we've got the right points gap because that makes a difference as well then in theory, if it's all as it should be, and this hasn't been removed from the engine or has also been put back in the right place, then that should line up with that. So let's check our points gap. That looks massive to me. That is my hoosive. So it's on the highest point of the lobe, there. And you check that for 22,000, as you can, can you see it there? Oh yeah. It's a lot bigger, but you might not have adjustment left on, well, you should have adjustment left on the points. Loosen that one a little tiny bit. And that should slide. They often move when you do them back up, so you have to fanny around a little bit. Well, that's good. So now we'll set it all up properly. Don't like those O-rings on there particularly, but 
Right, so let's check our centre mark again just to make sure we're double right. Double jeopardy. Right, we're in the middle of that, so that's right. Handlebar's set at that, so that's right. And then we line up our, do a fag paper test again. So we know it rotates that way, so we want to come back onto it that way, yeah? Right, that's lined up on our mark. Right, so that there, that line being out, means the distributor's one tooth out. But it doesn't matter, you know, we just put another mark on it. Your points are just opening there, so that should be right. So we lock that off. Right. Now I'll put that back in there. Can't use that, yeah? So as we bring that back round to where it should fire on the ignition, just pulls out. Okay. So you know that's back on. Let's see what we got here. New spring, that's good. Got the wrong washer on there. Right, it's got fixed power needle, so that's right. Should be another 53 jet, I think, or 57. That all looks okay. Make sure the spindles are done up. Bit loose. Good, that venturi's come out, that's good. Right, you want to back your throttle stop off. That could do with going down a little bit. Just want to get that down, just take that slack out of there if you can. <laughs> That's better. And then with your throttle stop back right off, yeah, roll that round. Loosen your butterfly off. Okay. Push that in, hold it there, and then bring that round to there. Hold that on there. And as you do those up, it will centralise the butterfly and the ball. Okay. Because they've got chamfered edges. them up and you shouldn't get any stick there at all and you shouldn't be able to see any daylight through that ball yeah apart from that little tiny hole there which is a bleed you can't see any daylight yeah yeah well you'll never get them absolutely perfect because of the age of it but <coughs> you want to get it as close as you can yeah this one here is quite important there's two holes in there a slot in between them yeah very hard to see let me get a torch you've got a big hole a small hole and a little slot in between them you've got to make sure that's clear so we'll blow that out in a minute see if that will come undone that one you want out that one you want out see a blanking plug that one but you want to blow it all out make sure it's clear yeah You've got to make sure you put that in the right passageway as well because you could put the fixture in there or there i can't remember which way around it is we'll check it in a minute so apart from that it's your idle mixture screw which 
which is spring loaded which is right Roll our jets out okay that looks about right they should be offset slightly the float in the round and that should be quarter of an inch from there to there so let's set that up we want 250 south. That's 250 south. That's plenty close enough. That's quarter of an inch there. Yeah? Okay. So your float is down there. When it's full up of petrol, it's there. Okay. Because it's filled up, and then you want to put that. And that's just, just touching it, which, oh, is, which is right. And that should seal if you blow down there. Can't blow down there, yeah, as you turn it over the needle drops. So yeah. So that's all okay. So we'll assemble it now. So that screws in there, yeah. Hits on the ball bearing in there that's spring loaded and that gives you notch adjustment on your idle. And I'll pop him in without all, all of it loaded up. Don't ever over tighten this screw, as you look at it. And you've got a tiny thread on the end compared to the size of the bolt. Okay. And people wang them in there and tighten them up too tight and then snap the thread off in the carburetor. Okay, that's tight enough to check it. that cam's worn okay so you can't set that but we'll set it about middle middle of the road okay that's about it so what that is is I'll explain it how it works that step washer goes in there has to go that way up yeah, so you just step on it. Oh yeah, so that goes in there. Put your spring on there. That fits up in that little hole there. Slide all that in. And push that so you can just get the thread started. choke off yeah so you're not restricting your airflow at all could be the wrong needle in there right that's holding your needle down yep. so it's not letting much fuel through okay and when you do that yeah it lifts that needle up do you see it coming up down up uh, yeah so that richens it all up because the needle's coming off of its base yeah to seal that so but that well, that's got a little bit of play in it because they do different length needles you see okay okay so let's try it we know all that's clear we're just blowing it out it doesn't matter which way round that goes in really just bung it in the hole so if you've got the wrong length needle that's going to change the mixture yeah Venturi in. Move it off. Right, that jet was in the wrong place. Low speed needle is that. High speed fixed jet should be in that hole. And it was the other way round. I'm not sure how critical that is, but you might as well get it in the right hole, you know what I mean? All these little things add up, don't they? Well, you've got a slight difference, very slight difference in height there, I would say, which will make a difference, so. I 
push that blank off, put the one back in there. Right. Does that stay in there? Yep. That goes that way. That goes that way. just yet so let's loosen that off okay. right so let's have a look make sure we've got a gas sit on there and the other thing to check on these as well is where they get over tightened that looks pretty flat. See these flanges on the end of the bronze where the three bolts are? That one doesn't move, but these can lip up. But that looks pretty flat. And your gasket can't take it up, no leak air in through there. The other thing to check is your gland nuts on there, make sure they're tightened up. Right, they're nipped up, so that's good. Right, that's started, so that's good enough. That's all okay. Right, I'll try and get our throttle in now. Right, let's just give it a bit of tick over. Should be enough. Back load that a little bit. Right. Hear that clicking noise down here? Yeah. That means the throttle stop screw is hitting the carburetor, so you know you're on that, you're not relying on the cable it's for an idle. We'll lock all that up later. That's pretty clean. The gasket. That's not bad. That's about roughly where it was. Check the gear change lever then. It's not hitting anything. So we're good there. That's okay. Carb support bracket on. Well, pop the plugs back in. In theory, that should be okay um, gone through the dizzy gone through the carbs set the timing give it a try yeah Throttle off timing's right there fuel on oh, let's primer up then There. Bit of juice? Just a bit. Right. She's a bit awkward, isn't it?
So if he doesn't adjust the points at all, which he shouldn't have to for you know a good thousand, two thousand miles, that line and that line, if you ever move that screw to adjust your timing, line those up, and it'll be near enough to start it. Yeah. So it's just a guideline. Next week on the workshop. Personally, I'd, I'd like to nut and bolt it because you have to stand on that back wing to get in there. That's right, in the dicky seat. Isn't it? Yeah. You almost want a little weight limit to stand on. Like. Yeah. No fat bastards like me.